Hi y'all, so today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my condo. Ah, I'm so excited because I want you guys to see how I decorated it, how I made the, the space my own, how I furnished it. So just a little bit of a backstory on my living situation. I did have a roommate, but she already moved out a week ago and I'm still going to stay here for the remainder of our legal stay here. We do have a one year lease on our place, but we decided over the summer it doesn't make sense for us to live here financially because we have jobs um, elsewhere and so we don't want to stay in a city that we'd have to commute from and go back to and then pay the rent we already have places near our work over there so here where we live is Toronto so like I love Toronto and I'm so sad that I have to leave for the summer and I'm just like crying inside mentally I'm crying in my brain because I don't want to leave like I love living here I love living in a big city like Toronto but hey you know in life you move in you move out you move in you move out so now we have to move out and vacate the premises now we will go take a look at my amazing apartment okay Okay, so let's get started. So this is my front door. Let's take a look inside. So as you walk in, you are greeted by this amazing side table. Now we gotta lock the door to keep the intruders out. Okay, so obviously we have to have the de-alcoholized rosé rock cup mission because I am on Accutane and I cannot drink alcohol unless I want to ruin my liver and die. So, no thank you. Yep, so that's it. Okay, so this was my roommate's room. It is classified as a den. And I just wanna talk about the issue that we had. Uh, this apartment is already uh, pretty small and there's not a lot of sound privacy and this door definitely did not help It's just a slidey door. So if she was having a conversation I could hear everything that she was saying which I was not that interested in because I don't want to hear your conversation so Yep, this is a slidey door. I wish there was a lock on our doors, but hey, what you gonna do? So yes, the room is pretty small. Um, mine is a lot bigger, but we did divide the payment um, where I paid a little bit more and she paid uh, a bit less. So just because this is so small and there's no window. I mean, personally, I could not live in this room because just everything's so tiny and I have a lot of big furniture so it would not fit in here. And I have a lot of things and I need a window. I cannot be in a room where there's no window. I mean, I can be in a room without a window, but I can't, like my bedroom needs a window. That's it. Yep, so that's her room. All the furniture came inside. So here's the fan. She did not bring any of her own furniture. And yep, that is the den. Okay, so this is my kitchen and dining room. Yes, when I say dining room, I am referring to the island over here because we don't have much space, so we have to work with this. I bought these cute little white stools for us and just decorated the top of the island with this candy stand. I mean, you could put anything you want on it, but I just put candies for guests or anyone who's coming over. So these are Swedish berries and these are uh, strawberry gelatin marshmallow thingies. I did have a couple of these ones because they're just so amazing. They're $1 at Chopper's. Highly recommended for non-vegans. I am partially vegan. I'm in that transition state. Um, I've cut out most dairy and everything meat. Like I've been a vegetarian for like two years, so I don't eat meat, but I'm trying to go vegan here. So yeah. Um, this is the vase that I got from Michaels. Just uh, decorated it with a few flowers. And then this diamond studded stem of perfection. It was 20 bucks, so pretty expensive, but sometimes you gotta cash out for interior design and interior decoration. So yeah, so over here I have my chocolate soy milk that is organic, but I do not use, I, like I don't drink it anymore. So, yep. 
So I just want to um, make a note that there's a lot of plugs in our apartment. Um, they were amazing and convenient. Okay, so now let's go over to the fridge. This is our fridge. Yes, it just looks like kitchen cabinets, but it is a fridge. So I love how it blends in nice, really modern. Love the look. So I just wanna go through my fridge. So I have obviously some filtered water. And then you gotta have the organic almond milk that is unsweetened. I only take um, unsweetened milk from the store because I don't like vanilla and I don't like sweetened original. So yeah. Over here I have some cupcakes that I bought um, because I just had a party so I just got those but nobody ate the cupcakes. I had one cupcake but that's it so my family's coming over today so I'll make them eat it because they're gonna go to waste. Over here I have some slowly dying bananas but I will eat two today so yeah like I like it when they get more brown because they're more sweet. I know some people like unripe bananas but for me oh, I don't like that. Some Macintosh apples over here because I only have Macintosh. And then some kale. Kale is really good and healthy. Sriracha sauce, pasta sauce. This is, um, uh, it wasn't that good, but I mean, you can try it. And then I have the cupcake that I decorated with the Swedish berries for yesterday. Some organic chickpeas that are so good. And guys, I actually have a question. Is Coke vegan? It's Coke vegan because I'm trying to go vegan over here. Not fully there yet, guys, so don't attack. Don't attack, okay? Um, but I'm pretty sure there's no meat in there. I mean, it's Coke. Uh, but is there some sort of dairy? I, I don't think so, right? But there might be an ingredient in there that is not vegan. So can someone please answer that because I love Coke. I know it's unhealthy. No one has to share that below in the comments. I know that, but... It's gonna be hard for me to cut that out because I am trying to live more healthier and I want to live longer So I definitely should cut that but it's gonna be hard for me And over here we have the freezer not gonna go in there too much work Okay, now this is my cabinet with my food and over there was my roommates so today I made pancakes so these are vegan completely vegan there's no dairy in them usually you have to um, add eggs or milk but look it just says add water so have that cereal flax seeds highly recommended uh, by me because they fill you up and you don't want to eat more because they expand in your stomach same with chia seeds that's what they do so non-gmo because we want to promote uh, a good environment and good health. We're gonna panko and avocado oil. I know a lot of people use like canola oil or vegetable oil, but avocado oil is just more healthier and this one's non-GMO project. And then over here we have some organic extracts. Um, these were pretty expensive, man, but um, I, I don't really use them because I bake, but I, I don't bake. <laughs> Sorry, I made a mistake there. But I don't know, I just need that just in case I'm baking something. I also don't really use the stove top and I don't use the oven because, again, I eat mostly raw. But I did have pancakes today. So I will cook on and off. But for the majority of the time, I don't. My roommate uh, mainly used these two. She ate a lot, a lot of meat. Um, but yeah, so she cooked it there. I mean... <coughs> Well, I was against it because I'm a vegetarian, but, you know, you can't force people to be the way you are. So, this is the microwave that I used maybe once or twice because I don't, I don't like the radiation it, um, it gives my food. So, like, I know that the radiation is pretty insignificant, like the waves and everything, but, you know, I'm just trying to live a more natural lifestyle. So... I'm avoiding that. Over here we have the microwave oven and the toaster. And then I just decorated uh, these two appliances with a relax sign because sometimes we just gotta relax. Okay, so yeah, so there's my dishes that I have to do. Yeah, I was baking pancakes like I said earlier, so I needed that. Yep, so that's there. And then we have this display up here. So I have a kettle. Because I love to drink tea, 
And then I have a really classy champagne glass with Godiva chocolates, because why not? Then I have this uh, magic bullet that I make my smoothies with, because I drink smoothies all the time. I love them. Okay, let's go into my cabinet. So this is just my plates and everything, and there's some more there. And then there's some mugs. Um, I really love this Alan, Alice in Wonderland mug that my brother got me, because he's amazing. So yeah. I love all the Disney classics, you know? Um, all the new Disney movies, like for me personally, in my opinion, suck. So I wish there was, they were making more like Disney classic movies, but you know, the times have changed and they need to revamp the Disney movies. So yeah, so this protein I put inside my smoothies because you know, I need protein since I don't eat meat. So highly recommended, this is non-GMO project. So definitely recommended. And guys, I have to show you this. I mainly only drink organic green tea. So this is the collection that my mom got me for Christmas. And I've been drinking this ever since. I mean, I've been drinking organic tea for a long time because uh, I have problems. It needs, for me, for me to drink a tea, it needs to be organic and it needs to be green tea. I will drink like Earl Grey or white, but if it's not organic, forget about it. Like no way in hell. It needs to be organic and um, I would like it if it's fair trade, but sometimes it's hard to come by uh, the fair trade teas at most stores. Yep, so, so that is the kitchen and dining room. Okay, so the next room I'm going to show you guys is our laundry room. It's not really a room, but that's what I call it because I'm cool like that. So this is our dryer and then this is our washer. The washer was pretty good. The company is Whirlpool. So yeah, so that was good. The dryer sucked. <laughs> like, do not get this dryer. It's horrible. I had to put the load on like four times for it to dry out. And then I'd get tired and I'd just let it air dry. So the next room is the living room area. So over here we just have a couch, a coffee table, and some side tables. I purchased the tables. The coffee table I bought for $400 plus tax at Pier 1 Imports, as well as the uh, matching side tables that were $300 a piece. So I got a good deal on those. They're so gorgeous, aren't they? I love the mirror effect. Next we have the couch. The couch came along with my apartment but I did decorate it and perfect it with the fabric and the pillows. So the pillows over here are just like royalty. They just sparkle with the diamonds. Gorgeous. Love it. And then this fabric is just from home. It's pretty nice though. And then over here uh, for our display we just have some roses and such from Michaels. We have the candle and the candle holder, which it has a really nice princess look, doesn't it, with the diamonds? And I got those from HomeSense. And then this is one of the most expensive uh, picture frames I have ever spent my money not on. It's from uh, Bombay, and Bombay is a pretty pricey store, but they honestly have the best uh, decorative pieces and furniture. Uh, for everyone. I'm not sure if it's uh, in the States, but it is in Canada. So, yep, that's how that looks. And then we have the TV stand here along with the fabrics. Um, this isn't my most proudest display. Um, I just kind of put it together quick because I was changing the theme of our place from Christmas. So it was like blue and just like it was winter wonderland. White and blue was my theme with crystals, of course, and decorative pieces. But I did change it and I mean, I just kind of threw this together, but it was much prettier during Halloween and winter because I decorate it, I decorate seasonally. So this is just like kind of a uh, after spring look because I did decorate for Easter. So I just kind of put that together since I was going with the pink theme. Yeah, and we have two routers. So that is the living room area. And it's just connected um, to the dining room and kitchen just pretty much extends over here. It's really cute and compact, this place. 
Um, basically, you got three rooms in one. Uh, actually, four if you include the laundry room, I guess. <laughs> okay, yep. So that's here we have the balcony. So I'm just gonna take a step outside so you guys can see my outdoors. So this is Toronto for ya. Just condos and buildings. But yeah, my balcony's pretty long. Like, look at it. That's a good size for a balcony. But I'm too afraid. Ah, I'm so scared. I hate the balcony. This is the view down. Okay, so that's that. There is an office across from me. But yeah, let's get back inside. Yeah.